Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at trig integrals, specifically the secant and tangent case. So far, we've already talked about the even and odd case for sine and cosine, but secant and tangent follows its own rules, and so we're gonna be covering that in this video. Before we get started, we do need to talk about the few different cases within the secant and tangent case that we need to know about. The first case you can have is that secant and tangent are both an odd degree. So for instance, they're both cubed, one's cubed, one's to the fifth, maybe one's to the fifth power and one's just to the first power. Whatever the case may be, if you have this, you're gonna use u equals secant x for your u substitution, which means du equals secant x tangent x dx, and our strategy is gonna be to isolate a secant tangent term so that it eventually cancels after my u substitution. I'll explain that when we do the example. The second case you can have is that secant is an even degree and tangent is odd or even, doesn't matter. We're gonna use u equals tangent x and then du is going to be secant squared x dx, which means I'm going to try and isolate a secant squared out of my integral to cancel it with my u substitution. And again, we'll look at an example of that. And you may be wondering, there's one case that I did not cover. And that is the case where secant is odd and tangent is even. If you ever encounter this case, you should not. This is impossible. Or if it is possible, I have no idea how to solve it and I would give up. So in other words, you should never see an example with this case, secant odd, tangent even. And of course, if you think I'm wrong, please post in the comments below and I can make a second video updating this one. But here we go. Here's the first problem. Let's say I have secant cubed x tangent cubed x dx, and I wanna solve this integral. So this is the case where both secant and tangent are odd. It's the first case I mentioned. And if that's the case, I know already u is gonna be secant x and du is gonna be secant x tangent x dx. That means I'm gonna try and isolate a secant x tangent x. What does that mean? It means I'm gonna take a secant x out of that guy and a tangent out of that guy and my integral is now gonna look like this. Secant squared x, secant x, times tangent squared x, times tangent x, dx. And now this next step is optional, but I'm just gonna write these two guys together. So now it's secant squared x, tangent squared x, times secant x, tangent x, dx. Okay, now I've isolated this. I'm ready to cancel it with my u substitution. The problem is if u is secant x, then I still have this tangent squared left over that I need to take care of. We can take care of it. The way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use a Pythagorean identity. We know that tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x minus one, and that's what I'm gonna put right there. So one more time, rewriting this integral, it's secant squared x times the quantity, secant squared x minus one times secant x tangent x dx. Now, if I want to, I can distribute this term, the secants, to make it easier for me, and I will get integral of secant to the fourth x minus secant squared x, that's a quantity, times secant x tangent x dx. And now I'm ready to do my u substitution. u is secant x, which means du is secant x tangent x dx. And then solving for dx, dx equals du over secant x tangent x. That's why it ends up canceling. So now filling in for my u substitution, I'm gonna get the integral of u to the fourth minus u squared times secant x tangent x, and then the du got replaced with du over secant x tangent x. Like we said would happen, the secant and the tangent cancel, fantastic. And all I'm left with is the integral of u to the fourth minus u squared du. This is a very easy power rule to do. It's just gonna be u to the fifth over five minus u cubed over three plus c. And the last thing you have to do is actually plug in for the u, and we know the u is secant, so it's gonna be secant to the fifth x over five minus secant cubed x over three plus c and there we go, there's my solution for that one. Not too bad. So now let's look at one more problem. This is obviously gonna be the other case. 
but it's the integral of tangent to the fourth x times secant to the fourth x dx. As you can tell, both degrees are even, but I don't even care about that. As soon as I see secant is even, we're good to go. And I know u is going to be tangent x, and I know du is going to be secant squared x dx. In other words, I'm trying to isolate a secant squared from that secant to the fourth right there. In other words, the integral is going to become integral of tangent to the fourth x times secant squared x times another secant squared x dx. So this is what my integral looks like. I am gonna do u equals tangent x, but before I do that, I am gonna break up this secant squared using the trig identity, secant squared x equals one plus tangent squared x. Or you can write tangent squared x plus one. That's the exact same thing, I don't care. But this integral is now gonna become the integral of tangent to the fourth x times tangent squared x plus one times secant squared x dx and just like before, I'm gonna distribute this tangent to both terms. This will be the tangent to the sixth x plus tangent to the fourth x. That does have to be in parentheses, times secant squared x dx. Now I can say u is tangent x and du is secant squared x dx. That means that dx equals du over secant squared x. And then plugging in for my integral, I have the integral of u to the sixth plus u to the fourth, and then times secant squared x times du over secant squared x. Like we said, the secant squared x will cancel, and I just have this very easy power rule integral to take. It's gonna be u to the seventh over seven plus u to the fifth over five plus c. And like we said before, plug in for u, u is tangent, so it's gonna be tangent to the 7x over 7 plus tangent to the 5th x over 5 plus c. And there's our final answer for that one. So hopefully there's no questions with that. If you do, please post them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.